Greetings and welcome to the Reaction Review, I'm Gripper Sim, and today we're going to look at three forgotten free aircraft downloads for X-Plane. If you're new to this channel or thinking of getting into this relaxing hobby, comment, like, subscribe for more every week with me, Gripper Sim, and some crazy madness. We're here in RAF Lusy Mouth, and this is a base where I believe they do some of their low-level training. Now we're going to have a look at the Eurofighter Typhoon first. Neither the scenery, the scenery isn't part of our list by the way, but the Typhoon is. This is the Eurofighter Typhoon, we're going to have a look at this. It is isn't the most complicated version, but why are we looking at it? Let's find out. Links for this aircraft will be shown in the description below after the show. Now, what they say is it's got an aqua flight model, but it's got low, nice, low poly 3D exterior and interior. Custom sounds, not too sure about the sounds. I put some of the sounds in myself. Oh, a bit of cheese there. It's got autopilot weapons functions, tail hook for carrier landing, and a brake shoot. And now for something completely different. Here we are in Southampton Airport. Very nice, very dandy, and we're going to look at something that I think could have well been easily payware. It's really detailed. All the buttons and switches work. I had to learn about the tail brake for the tail wheel. This aircraft is the B-17 and it is the B's knees. I'm really impressed with it. And it's free, completely and utterly free. It took two minutes to download and less than that to install. We're going to start her up and do a quick circuit, but let's first have a look at some eye candy. over to the right side momentarily because that's where the start switches are obviously and World War II the pilot uh, on the right side started all the engines so you couldn't do it on your own anyway let's start with number three so let's put some fuel in there let's make it a rich mixture mm. ok 
Okay, a uh, rich mixture. And let's pop off number three. Okay, now to start engine number four. Come on. Taking a bit long to start. Come on. Go on, baby. Back on. Okay, let's do some taxiing and have a look at this airplane and see how it flies. The only reason this channel is still here is from people subscribing, believe it or not. So if you like, think you like this kind of thing, please do subscribe and support the channel. Okay, let's have a look at the cockpit whilst we're taxiing. You can see the navigator station there to the right, but I have to say the cockpit itself is really, really well modelled and detailed. I couldn't find anything that, that, that doesn't work. Now, I haven't spent a huge amount of time making sure that every single thing works, but every button I look at works and has a function. So it really is the best freeware model I have found for a long while. Now, to be honest, if I had the time, I would probably find a B-17 manual, and I think this would bring me pretty close to operating the real aircraft. Now, these still do fly, by the way, in America, which is pretty darn cool. Don't forget there's a tailwheel brake of this aircraft as well. If you're having problems taxiing, that's probably what it is. So let's go, full power. You can really feel how heavy this aircraft is on takeoff. This aircraft was last updated June 2017, but it's still good today. I am um Oh, bloody hell. What the hell's going on? Oh man, there's a bloody fire. Oh, it's the Germans. They're so naughty. It's just these... This guy's going to be in for a good spanking. I found him sleeping here when he landed. What's going on here? Is he drunk or what? Wake up! Yeah. Well, what are you... Are you sorry for what you did? Are you sure? Has he been drinking or what? I, oh, look at him stretching his neck like nothing happened. You're in big, big trouble, buddy. Are you going to subscribe? The Measuresmith 109 is very basic, but all our aircraft shown here are free and in the links below, along with every other add-on used in this video. Thanks for all your comments and suggestions. I'll be reviewing VR on Flight Sim when I get the Pimax in the coming months. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And we'll see you next week on the Reaction Review.